This is Neil. I'm the author of the Los Alamos Derby Dames Roller Derby Scoreboard software. Uh, and this is a quick video tutorial on how to operate the scoreboard in a scrimmage or jam. The scoreboard can be downloaded at woozle.org scoreboard. And if you'd like, you can open that URL right now in your browser and follow along by clicking through things. The scoreboard runs entirely in the web browser and runs in every web browser that I've tested it with, including Internet Explorer, smartphones, tablets, just about everything. So let's load up the full screen version here. Um, a lot of times when you load this up on a projector, you'll see that it's not sized quite right. So you can use your browser controls. In Firefox, that's Control minus and Control plus to zoom in and out until it's the right size. You may also want to hit the F11 key, which will get rid of this navigation toolbar up here. I'm not going to do that because the video software I'm using will mess up. Uh, then you'll start clicking on things to reset them. We're going to have a 20 minute period. Uh, we'll set these scores down to zero. And we'll set the team names. We're going to have the Los Alamos Madam Bombs, our home team, versus a made-up team called the Smallville Awesome Derby. And because they're made up, they don't actually have a logo, so we'll use one of these stock logos with Kitty, put their team name in there, and all this again I'm just clicking on to get these things. All right, now we're ready to go. So when the ref signals the start of the first jam, you can either click on the jam timer or you can hit the space bar and it'll get going. Whoop, I clicked it twice. There we go. Uh, so as you can see, if you click it again, it moves to lineup. You can also use space bar to move in and out of here. During the lineup, you may want to award points. You can do that by clicking on the point values or pressing A or B on the keyboard. And shift A and shift B take them back down as well as clicking on the logo will also take it back down. So you can click on the number to take it up, logo to take it down, or you can use A and Shift A, B and Shift B. Move to the next jam. And now there's a timeout, let's say. So I clicked on the period timer up here, or you can press the T button to move to a timeout. During the timeout, you may want to uh, decrease the number of timeouts available to a team by clicking on the number there. Uh, if you click the wrong one, you can just keep going through and take it back to the original number. And when you're ready to go again, again, you spacebar or click on the jam timer, and you're up and going again. At the end of the period, you will move into a timeout, change the period indicator by clicking on it, and then you may want to set a uh, time for the halftime. And to start this clock moving, you can just move into a jam with spacebar or click, and it'll count down. The jam timer will run down to zero and then stop. Uh, at the end of the halftime, you move into timeout again, click this again, and set your period time, and click to start the first jam. This indicator cycles through. So if you're in a break, which is maybe between a double header, and you want to move to the second bout, you once again move into timeout mode, change this, set everything up. Now, uh, actually, because it's a new team heading and because you click on the teams here, it changes the score, you have to reload the page. And you'll see that it actually remembers everything. This is in case your browser crashes. It'll come back up with exactly what you had before it crashed. Uh, so now we can click on the logos, and we're going to make this one be Animus versus Taos, because I think they have pretty logos. And we'll set the period clock back. Now this is a full one, so we'll do 30 minute period. Zero this score out. We're ready to go again. That's all there is to it. There are a couple of advanced hotkeys that you can do. You can set custom logos. Uh, this is all described in the documentation that comes with the download or is on the web. Uh, you can click there to see the documentation. It talks about shortcuts, uh, how to everything we just went over, some advanced tips, how to customize it if you have a web designer, uh, how to get in touch with me if you have problems, and there's my email address, neilatwizzle.org. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the software.